Hi everybody and welcome back to Retro Card Arts. Thanks for all your subscribers and comments and thanks for everybody's support. Now, today we're going to get into the E3, the 2800, the fitted with the 3.5 or the, uh, I think it's the E34, we're not too sure, e maybe you guys can help me out. So, like we've said before, we are the world's worst mechanics and today is a first for me. I had to call on the help and expertise of a friend and say, we're not getting the car to run right. And then with some other videos of other things, small things that are problematic with this 3.5 being put in here. One, we can tell you that the computer system, the aftermarket computer system, that it's never been connected correctly. It's not been grounded, so it doesn't want to work properly. Um, that's uh, a few little in the distance, we'll get that sorted out. Um, so what we're doing is just gonna show you what we have to do now. So with the car having stood for a long time, it runs terrible, it idles badly, it doesn't want to idle at all. Um, we through a process of uh, my friend helping and giving some uh, in, uh, information is that we feel the, the injectors are blocked. So we definitely know, if you look across here, that that injector there, which is one, and if you come across this side here to that injector, which is um, four, are blocked. They, there's no petrol coming out there. So if you disconnect this while the motor is running, nothing changes. Same on this side, if you disconnect the electrical connection here, nothing changes in the engine. And then uh, five, three, six, and two, which is, don't think I'm intelligent, it's written on the tappet cover. Um, instead of them squirting a, a, a jet like this, we think it's just squirting big streams of petrol straight into the top of the cylinders. It was when you take out the spark plugs, they're all petroled up. So it, they're obviously just dying. It's just, it's flooding the, uh, the chamber. So the spark is not working. So it's just not wanting to run properly. We have since discovered, speaking to another chap, that this has a throttle position sensor here, but with the particular engine management system that we have, it is not necessary to have a throttle position sensor. So in this video today, and like I've said so many times before, we aren't mechanics. Okay, I've never, ever done this before. This is a first for me. But what we've got to do, and you see I've got a trusty ice cream tub that's empty over here to put the parts in. We've got to strip out the fuel rail, take this off, the air filter, strip out the fuel rail, remove the electrical connections, and then remove each one of the injectors. Then what we're going to do is we are then going to take them, and we don't have access to machines that clean this stuff, we're going to take them, soak them in good old thinners for about a week, agitate them like crazy, help it to try and break down the, the rubbish that might have built up and blocked it. Then we're going to put it into acetone for about a week to agitate it, and then we're going to shoot across and get them tested to make sure that they're clean and working fine. Then we're going to put them back, and then what we're going to do is get the computer connected correctly, earth correctly, program correctly, so we can get this beast to talk. In between that, some of the other problems we've discovered, just to mention it, is that the accelerator over here, this bar, which you can probably just see down here, the bushes over there are totally worn out. So there's so much play in the accelerator that when you accelerate, the throttle hardly opens. Down to modification on the other side, which is not correct, we're going to have to re-modify that. Also found on that side that the engine mounting is not put in in the correct uh, position, the locating hole. So the mounting set sitting slightly crooked. So we have to take that out and sort it out. We also then discovered that uh, you, cameraman showing you there, uh, Jordan showing you the engine, the engine mounting. Mount. Yeah. Then we also discovered that um, this lead here, which is to your... Um, um, what is it, the sensor that runs off the ring gear. Because it sits so close to these here, it should have been rerouted the other way, but it's too short. We wrapped it in tin foil because obviously these wires and that they interfere with the sensor's reading. Also discovered that the electric fan is not working because the cable is rotten and broken, so we need to fix that. So these are all things that we ask you to be patient, laugh at us if you want to. Join us on our journey on doing things for the first time and I suppose just the joys of owning a BMW now we've used to other classic cars so it's a first for me, don't know much about it but we're going to get into doing this right now so uh, stick around, follow us, don't laugh at us and send us your comments, uh, stick with us.
Okay guys, so I'm out of camera because the camera is stuck to the uh, bonnet of the car. So I'm going to start by taking the air filter off flat. It's an aftermarket air filter. Obviously we would like to try maybe and get the original kind that will fit you and look much more um, aesthetically pleasing. And uh, there we are. You can see we're open now. So here are the areas we're working on. So again, like I said guys, I know nothing about these pipes disconnected. I don't even know what's going on, but anyway. We're going to take off these uh, electric, uh, I don't know what they call them, connections that supply power to the uh, injectors, which I'm not exactly sure how you do, but we're going to do that. Um, let's uh, start over here on the left. Oh, <laughs> it just pulls off actually. Oh, okay, that's not so weird. Oh, okay. There we are, just pull them off. All right, all right, there we go. That's off, and that one's off. Okay, there, we're uh, out of the way. There they are, okay. Uh, suppose let me just, would you grab me a side cut? I just wanna cut that there. Um, so now what we've gotta do, and apparently if you can see these little clips here, when we take these clips off, they apparently are hard to find and very important for the uh, process of keeping these things connected to the fuel rail we're not to lose them so uh, I'm not going to lose them so side cutter in hand let's just separate this I've got some space to work here make sure we don't cut the pipe okay all right that gives us a little more room to work with okay uh, this is a fuel there, so I don't know if it's going to be in the way if I should take it off or not. Um, okay, let's take off these uh, little clips. So what I'm going to do, just so we don't lose one, because apparently they are very important and you don't want to lose them. So what I'm going to do, and I'll put a piece of cloth in here because I, when I clip these things off, I don't want it to get lost. Um, so I think we just put in a screwdriver. I think and you just clip it like that and it hopefully will come out let's see yep that is in actual fact how it works I think I'll probably take it out by hand yeah don't need a screwdriver and do it by hand so that is the little clips we can't afford to lose why don't you grab the ice cream tub? I need to put these in the ice cream tub. I don't want to lose them. So we have to take off all these little clips along the fuel rail so we can take the fuel rail out so we can get access to the um, injectors. So let's just toss that in there. Okay, so we don't lose it. Okay, so the first one is done. Okay, pretty proud of myself. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it will appear. Yep. Yeah. Can just use the hands, you don't need a screwdriver. Okay, put that one away. Just put in here the cloth, it's just for safety. So we don't, if it falls, it'll fall on the cloth. Get my hands in there. Okay, fingers in. Ah, got that one off. Okay, not doing too bad so far for a numb nut. Can't get the cloth in there, I'll just take the chance. Oh, no, let me put the cloth in. Yeah, for safety sakes. And this one seems a bit tough, so fingers are a bit too weak. Get the screwdriver in. Ah! Ooh, that's what the problem is. It could have shot away because that one was a little resistance. And you got other obstacles we've got to work with here, so. Turn that one around. As we get to it. There it is. There. So, I th so some of you guys might know the technical name. The BMW guys out there might know what the technical name is for these clips, but I think it's just to hold the fuel rail to the injector, as far as I can aware. There's another one. Okay, down to the last one, which is going to be always the one that's going to be a fight right here in the corner. But let's get screwdriver in there 
Find no space for the fingers. And I hope for the best. Oh, got it perfectly with the screwdriver. Okay, there we go. All of those off. Uh, next challenge is just take off these uh, big screws here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, you know, in case that falls down, just put a cloth in there and cover that. I wanted to go and drop somewhere where I can't get access to it. Get your fishing rod. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, magnetic. Mm. Let's just see. So, once we've loosened that, I don't know if we're supposed to be loosening that, but anyway, I'll just take it off at the moment. Okay, one screw out, put in tub, another one over here. Okay, it didn't come off too difficultly. Oh, the cloth. Yes. Just in case we drop it, we have to go and crawl around the engine looking for it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Last one over here. And we should be in business. Here we go. Now I have not been told how this happens. I've been told take out the screws, take off the clips, pull out the rail, and by hand pull these out. So I'm presuming it's that simple. I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do is unclip that. And that's out the way. You know that now all of that's gone. If you come to the side, you can see on the side here, BMW. Oh, uh, BMW. I don't know if that's engine number, 3.5. Oh, oh, okay. I've seen that before. Oh, okay. Oh, and on the side of the head. Also here. Oh, yeah. There's a number one. And I don't uh, know what that okay. is. Yeah, sure. All right. Learn as we go. Never worked on DMs before. Well, I have many, many donkeys years ago. So apparently now I should be able to just pull this thing out. No, it's... I'm sure it's attached to that still. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay because that can stay on. It doesn't have to come off. Only thing we have to do is gently nurture this thing out of the way. Uh, eh, well, a little easier than said than done. What is it connected to? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's connected to the injectors. So don't pop them one out of a time. <laughs> yeah, a little easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's taking the injector. That's all right. Because that'll make my life easier. The injector is coming with it. Okay, well, that's all right. You see this side? Yep. <sighs> oh, oh, there we are. Ah, Bob's your auntie. <laughs> oh, the injectors are out. Do they look dirty? Oh, I wouldn't know. They're inside, but they... They look a little... Oh, okay. How's that? <laughs> I did something by myself. So now, these are supposed to just pull out of here. Just remember, does the order matter? I don't think so. Oh! Petrol oh, running all the way. Covered. Yeah. Okay, put that in there for me. Okay, so that's petrol running out. Why don't you grab me a cloth test too? Oh, that's running into the side of somewhere. Yeah. There's a hole in there. Uh, <laughs> Where's that running into? Oh, into the cylinder. Is that a problem? No, I wouldn't know. No, not one of these. Get it an old cloth. It is old. Look after it. Oh, okay. Ones. All right. We've got so many. Let's do that. We've got so many. Okay, so they're just held in by little rubbers. So I'd have to probably think, I think probably good, good sense would be to replace the rubbers. Um, oh, that's out. They do come out with a little bit of a tug. Oh. Yes, you're covered. Yeah, petrol everywhere, it's just the petrol in the and inject this. Yeah, is that too much petrol though? This is a fuel rail, so no, I don't know actually. I think these 3.5 is going to run at about 3.5 bar. Oh, I'm drowning petrol into the cylinders. 
That's no good, eh? Oh, it's flooding the cylinders, but... Well, move this cloth along. <laughs> there we go. Put that in there. Mate, I'm gonna cover up these holes here. Um, oh, and cut myself. Welcome to working on cars. Blood with petrol. Open wound. Exciting. Burn. Burn. There's two there. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do is just cover this up. Um, uh, leak out a bit of petrol. Whatever's in the rail. Um, so that's it out. So now what we're going to do is obviously, uh, let's do that, try and stop it from uh, dripping. dripping all over the place. I uh, don't have injectors, eh? You do, exactly. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there's blood, blood on the cloth, mates. I've never seen it. Oh, uh, it's exactly the same as this. Is it? Yeah. Well, similar. So I'll put it that way, similar. Um, Uh, that pipe doesn't look too good anyway. Let's probably replace that pipe. That pipe looks a bit shoddy. Um, and there you have it, guys. So, injectors out. So, what I'm going to do now is um, clean, them. clean them. Well, put them and soak them. Uh, here's all the injectors. As you can see, they look uh, pretty mank. But obviously, replace these little rubber seals. Uh, and at the same time, we're going to soak them, so uh, stay tuned and let's see how this process goes. Hopefully it all works out perfect. Yep, thanks for watching another episode of uh, Retro Car Dogs. Um, doing this, we're going to do the accelerator, the mounting, and those kind of things and other videos to come up. And we'll keep you abreast of what's happening with this. So, uh, and bleeding thumb, war injuries, I can be proud. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, share and like and tell all your buddies and mates how crazy we are. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.